and this is seriously stained water, y'all. Technically, like one, that's the first one goes down to six inches, which is six inch on, so that's probably a foot. Then there's a foot for each one of them. There, as far as reflective bands go, I can see the first one at six inches, then a foot below the surface, and then another foot. So I'm looking at two foot, two and a half foot maybe, because I can still see a little bit more of the the pipe. I just can't see the next reflective band. Again, that's a 27 watts. There's three of them shining on that right now. One, two, and a little bit more. Now this is 150 watt, warm white. The 27s were cool white. Let's see if there's any difference. You notice there's the 27, no light on, no light on. You can tell because this little light here is on, that means this side of the 27 is on. That light's not on, that means this 27 is on. All right, what do we got here? See the first reflective band, the second reflective band. I can see to the third. I can almost, I'm not sure how well you see it, but I can almost see the third plus a little bit more. So it does penetrate better in the stained water. And like I said, that's, I can see the third band barely. So we're looking at one foot, two foot, three foot into the stained water that I can see. All right. 500 watt halo on now. Notice LED's not on. Neither one of the LED's on, the halo is. Yeah, that's a 500 watt halo in a Econo light housing. There's no bleed back coming back like the Home Depot and the Walmart brands. All right, I can see one, two, third one down. Honestly, I think it and the 50 watt are pretty close to the same. Maybe we'll come across a fish to look at. I plan on doing the fishing a little bit later. Maybe you can see this with the 27s. I can see the rocks, I can see the bottom. It's probably a couple foot right there. This is Lake Lanier. It's a pretty stained lake most all the time. There's hardly any visibility most of the time. I know there are some that are worse, but this one's pretty bad. A big one. There's another big bass. Nice little fish.
Okay. I'm going to turn around and catch it with the fish. We got some boat come through here and left some waves, but I hate the sound of the damn generator running. That's the reason why I went LEDs. But I want to make sure that all the batteries are full. We wasn't getting anything dim just because of a bad battery or a bad cell. There you go. That's what the 50 watt LED looks like. Just to show you, this paddle's five foot. No touch. No, there you go. I can see the bottom. Where's it at? Yeah, more than five foot. There's the bottom. Three feet, maybe. You can see the difference when I turn the halogen or the. Sorry for the noise. That's just a halogen, 500 watt. When you turn on the 50 watt LED, you notice a difference. Now let's leave that on and undo the halogen. You notice a difference there. Notice the color spectrum is a lot of light. 
as opposed to doing this. That's 27, 50. 27, excuse me. Turn the 27s on when I had the 50 running. The 50's on, putting on the 27s. Now the reverse. You can tell there is a lot of difference. There are three 27 watt LEDs on the side. Probably catching a little bit from the one in the corner. See the bottom? It's about four foot to the bottom. Our lake's so nice. <laughs> Lampshade. This is where I like getting up in the creek channel. This is your clear water, how it looks in under your LEDs. Seriously, that's six foot deep right there. I can see the bottom. And I can't touch it with that five foot paddle. There's probably eight foot right there where I can see the bottom. Be a big old catfish laying down there, I think. But there's not. 